All right, guys, this is Coach Bass, um, and I'm just going to give you a little bit of a breakdown of what a film session would look like um, for our quarterbacks. And today we're going to actually analyze the Patriots and Buffalo. Um, so you get to look a little bit at Tom Brady, but more importantly, I kind of want you to see what a quarterback would be looking for and kind of what some of the things are we teach. So right here, if you look right now, um, just based off of what the defense is showing us, it looks like it's an over front. Here, um, the reason we I call it an overfront is the uh, three technique. Looks like this is three technique is to the strength, uh, strength being the tight end side, and then it looks like we're playing some sort of cover one here. You got that one high safety there. Uh, looks like we're manned up down here, just kind of guesstimating. Now, what I'm telling quarterbacks pre-snap read is you want to look at leveraging and kind of where we can go with the football. Right here, I like the concept, uh, a stick concept. Um, actually, it's an inverted stick, and here's what I mean by that. Um, you get an outside release with this receiver. It's going to turn that corner's back. We are actually going to, right here, I want us to arrow, arrow there. And then because we're one-on-one -on -one right here, uh, with that outside backer, I'd get the out route. Um, so that's actually a stick concept right there. Um, you could also take that to be an arrow right now get him to go on the out uh, as a quarterback you want to look at leveraging and what spacing is there um, but if we look at the tape and we'll play it it actually ends up being it's a run play so we'll get a little bit more film on what it looks like let's take a look at it from your perspective here hold on right here so which we're looking at right here is when we go into this we're gonna look at box count box count is extremely important for quarterbacks because you when you're adjusting or when you're calling an audible you gotta know the reasoning why and you always wanna run to the strength right you wanna run to um, and what I mean by strength is not where the tight end is you wanna run to the numbers so you're always gonna do a box count what we do is we split this center right here right in half um, and then you're going to count. So our center's one, we got two, we got three. And we're going to count within the box. Um, and seeing as this, we got one man, two man, and we can even count him within the box. Not counting this mic right here because this mic is a little off center. So we got three on three right here. We got three on three, so it looks like a good side. If we were going to go to the strong side right here, we got one, two, three, four versus their one, two, three, four. So uh, even numbers, uh, but it's just a little bit more congested. So let's see what happens here. Uh, we'll play it. Boom. Let's rewind that a little bit. What you can see right here is it's an inside zone based on the running back's footwork. Quarterback uh, does a good job of bootlegging. Tom uh, actually gets out over that gap, over that B gap. Um, and it simulates a play action. So that's kind of what you want to do as a quarterback. Take the responsibility of that backside end to kind of free him up to guard you. So here what we're going to do is we're going to look at, again, we want to pre-snap read this. Again, it looks like cover one. Maybe uh, Buffalo played a lot of cover one. But, excuse me, we're going to peak the three by one side. And, or excuse me, the, one, the single side on the top of the screen. And what you can see is this corner is about looks like about five yards back about five yards back and we could look at again leveraging here so you got man technique right there you can tell by that corners head movement and then you have looks like you got some pretty good leveraging here um, to run another stick concept um, you can even do slant right here or excuse me flat so that like con slant concept where you'd go here we're thinking that this outside this nickel back uh, is going to drag over here and he's going to take that flat defender which is going to leave this outside corner in we want this inside slant to go under that linebacker so that he drags across we ideally like to throw that to that number one up top however you want to look at this back side you got the two by two right here excuse me um, and you're going to see this is an empty set and you're going to have leveraging for a hitch here if that corner backs off if he keeps his foot into the ground we're not going to want to throw that because he's going to get a jump on the ball so let's see what we got and if you see right there that corner is kind of bailing you have that immediately so i'm going to stop this boom right there you got that leverage that's really good 
um, you also have I'm not sure what we're doing right here maybe we're running out um, you I don't really like the out because of the position of this this nickel back um, looks like Tom is looking at the, the like um, the under route right here and let's see if it's any good and so what he'll do is he'll for yeah he's gonna throw that on un, under route and he's gonna squeeze that ball in um, but what I did see right here and I want to point this out is you actually have this out route extremely open by Gronk um, if you look at that corner's leverage or the safety's leverage excuse me he's about four yards off and his weights on that back foot he's not gonna be able to come down and make that play if we throw that ball on time and then this this backer is actually coming down this way um, the leveraging would be great for you there you're gonna get a complete ball you just gotta put it on time um, but let's see what Tom does oh it looks like that thing's tipped and we're lucky we didn't get an interception there um, very fortunate so what we'll look at is again we got a four down front right here four down front and it looks like again it is over it's an over front because the three technique is right here to the strength we're gonna count this Gronk as a Y right here um, and he's so he's a strength so anytime that three techniques to strength we're calling that an over front and then we're gonna run down this play and see what we get here okay yeah Tom's eyes let me see if I can f freeze this Tom's eyes go right here and if you look at it he's gonna be able to get that ball off just based on the spacing however uh, if you're gonna make this decision you better put that ball low so that that um, that receiver is gonna be able to get that ball and dive to the ground because if not you're gonna get him cleaned out um, not the best decision we had here um, but you know and as you saw I got tipped but he could have got a completion there so he would have gotten something on that uh, right here he's fortunate he didn't get the interception based on that tip uh, let's review one more play all right third and six so here's an important thing that I tell all my quarterbacks is be aware of down and distance here so it's third and six we need a first down you don't want to go for anything that's going to be uh, a quick hit or something short because again we need six yards so let's focus on getting that six um, again we got cover well we can't tell right here it looks like a two shell or a quarter shell but uh, based on what they've been playing you can assume that might be one and based on this corner's technique here it looks like it might be manned up so we'll see and so we'll go down by the film right here and this is an interesting thing I want you to look at right here you have two down linemen and one two three four technically four outside backers however they're not out they're not all backers right here so this is where you'd have to know personnel what you're gonna see is this is actually a three three defense right here this this is just a standing end right there and then you got your three backers and they're actually going to uh, they'll eventually get to their gap so understanding that defenses all have gap responsibility uh, is important as a quarterback because they're never gonna rush the same person the same gap um, it's unsound defense and a lot of times they'll leave it exposed so you won't really see that um, ever let's rewind this what you're gonna see though is um, on the motion right after that motions called you're going to see a stunt right here if you see that I think right now it's a backer goes inside and that tackle goes outside so you have some sort of stunt right there you got some games going on up front um, let's see rewind that and what we got right here is you'll see Tom's taking a three with a hitch this is really interesting this leverage right here right here if we were to run like a sail route and he comes out flat you're gonna have great leverage based on this defenders um, or excuse you're gonna have great leverage based on this defender right here um, across the middle doesn't look that great because you've got that safety who can come up I think they're really doubling Gronk here because you got a defender here and here um, outside I wouldn't really like anything deep because again he's over the top unless you're doing some back shoulder and even then it doesn't look the best because he's still his hips aren't completely turned uh, right there okay that's that's actually right there that's the shot I'm talking about this out right here he's completely turned that defender around that's a good good place to go with the football if you can make it there 
Oh, Brady actually throws to the middle defender. Um, and then you got a comeback there, which um, you can get it there if you put it to the sidelines right there and, and everything's on time um, and you trust your arm to get it there. Um, that's not a bad decision either. Let's see with the middle. I don't necessarily like it on film, but maybe he sees something we don't. Okay, um, let's talk about this really quick. We got three down front. One, two, three. Backer, backer, backer. However, if you look at numbering, we got number 95 right here. So it actually ends up being a four down front. One, two, three, four. This being the tackle. And so what you have is a uh, TN front or TN stunt, which the tackle goes first and then loops uh, the end loops around or the nose loops around. So let's see what we got here. And let's see. Here we go. And defense gets set. And you have that stunt right there. Again, they come around. Uh, and here is where I don't like that. So that ball's thrown in this spot right here. Um, and so when he throws this, he's got leverage here on this guy. This is what concerns me. This guy's not going to be able to make the play because he'd have to run through Gronk. So I see what he was doing and what he's thinking there. Um, yeah, this is a dangerous throw because at this point, if he were to get the jump on that, we're talking about an interception or we're talking about um, this guy getting out hurt. Uh, we got they got away with it right here because you see Don, uh, Gronk initiates the block. Boom, good football. He placed that right where it had to be. Anything any further would have resulted in an interception. Um, so that's just a quick breakdown of kind of what we do when we evaluate um, game film or we're teaching quarterbacks how to um, how to really evaluate opponents. Uh, it's just a brief overview of some of the detail we get into. We do this with our quarterbacks when they go into each week. Um, each season's games and we will meet with them go over tendencies uh, some of the things we see on defense and analyze uh, a scouting report uh, so just want to give you a brief breakdown of what we do and how we do it and hopefully you picked up a couple things from this and you're able to take it thank you